When you tap an opponent's untapped creature and pay one, Hilda lets you make a 4-4 elemental, pump your board by one, or scry two and draw. And she does nothing for a CEDH. Cool. We established this is stone, cold, unplayable. But she's cool, so if I had to build a Hilda deck to play into a CEDH pod, this is how I would do it. No regrets. When I design any deck, the first thing I envision are the situations where your deck, or in this case, your commander, is unfair. While technically Hilda has convoluted combos to have infinite draws or something, that is not when Hilda is unfair. That's just a terrible blue-white deck, and we already have plenty of those. Shout out Mind Sculptors. Hilda is at her best when making those 4-4s four matter and having enough board presence where eventually the plus one plus one counters start to be more damage positive than making a 4-4, four four, or tapping down creatures to help you dig for silver bullets or better ways to hold up interaction. So how do we create this situation? Yeah, we're using stacks to justify yet another terrible commander. We have our usual culprits of anti-meta tools to stop our opponents from comboing off too quickly. Like ETB hate for Dockside and Thoracle, Spell hate for Storm, and Graveyard hate for Breach and the one reanimator deck in the entire 150 person tournament. But let's go back to the original focus. How do I envision an environment where Hilda can be unfair? I believe Hilda is at her strongest when we make that one mana effect really matter, and stripping away our opponent's mana and making the game extremely resource tight for our opponents, giggity, where us converting our colorless mana into 4-4s four is gonna win the game. Looking at our sources to tap creatures with, we have Elvish Mariner, Toppelgeist, and Lossarnark Captain as free ways to tap a creature on our opponent's turn to save ourselves a mana. Elvish Mariner also synergizes with Hilda really well, as you can choose the scry option to tap down even more creatures with Elvish Mariner's trigger and make even more elementals. Given that we have so many tap effects, this deck also plays Verity Circle to draw extra cards from our tapping. An extremely powerful enchantment in this deck is Opposition, where we can turn not only Hilda, but the elementals we create as ways to tap down our opponent's creatures to get more Hilda triggers, but also their lands on their upkeep to basically skip their turn. Knowing how much we can accomplish now with just one mana from Hilda's trigger, I really want to attack our opponent's mana sources. Gotta make those elementals count. Thankfully, being a two-color deck, we have some of the best tools to do that. Back to basics, Static Orb, Tangle Wire and the On Theme Winter Orb are groan inducing ways to keep our opponent's lands tapped, while Karn is there to attack artifact mana. We can also synergize these effects with the High Lord of Blue Stacks himself, Urza, so we can break parity with Static Orb and out mana our opponents. Under tight resource games, Trinisphere and Taxes from Arby's also helps deny our opponents from taking game actions while they get hit by a bunch of angry snowmen. To make it even more difficult for our opponents, this deck also plays Crucible of Worlds with Strip Mind and Wasteland, knowing that most CEDH decks are extremely land light. Under a Winter Orb, this land destruction lock or a well-timed stifle is enough to make our 4-4s four each turn matter. The last thing of note in this deck is now knowing that we expect to play under Winter Orb-esque effects, we might only have access to untapping one land a turn. I also added Lotus Field in this deck, synergizing with anti-ETP cards like Strict Proctor and Hidden Strings as a way to make a burst of mana. Any lands we sacrifice to Lotus Field can always be replayed of Crucible as well. So if you cracked a foil Hilda or you're just a Snow Queen simp, Here's a list of 100 cards you can technically sleeve up and play into a table of other CEDH decks. Just don't expect to win. Ever. If you want access to more decks like these earlier, or you want me to take a look at your awful deck, please support me on Patreon and join my Discord where we can try to optimize your commander. My Patreon also has exclusive strategy articles you might be interested in. If you want something that can win from Eldraine, you should watch this deck tech of Rowan as the newest top tier Rakdos Storm deck. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.